हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर विशाल फ्रॉम महाराजा अगर सैन यूनिवर्सिटी बदी हिमाचल प्रदेश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल टूरिज्म प्रोडक्ट रीजनल साउथ इंडिया विच विल कवर आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना एंड कर्नाटका आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल स्टूडेंट्स यू विल बी एबल टू understand the tourism products of south india no the uniqueness of regional tourist destinations product is a marketing term used in connection with offering a tangible object or a service or benefits tourism product generally means those things which are offered to tourists in the form of service benefits or experience of fun excitement thrill etc we can say that tourism facilitates people to get experiences and return with memories southern india presents a vibrant tourist scape arabian sea marks the boundary of the west further bounded by western ghats then deccan plateau semi arid landscape of andhra pradesh to the eastern coast and major rice cultivating field of andhra pradesh and tamil nadu a margin of eastern ghats extended up to odisha which is aligned towards the bay of bengal coast the following table illustrates the geographical features of the region which are the basic resource in terms of cultural features linguistic features of the regions are different festivities have some similarities but diversity exist in many areas andhra pradesh and telangana have some common and linguistic and cultural features and so with the states of kerala and tamil nadu the local culture features also emerge as interesting tourist attractions of the region tourism products of south india highlights looking at the tourism product offering the state governments aggressively promote natural attractions such as beaches hill stations backwaters and religious places such as temples shrines pilgrimages religious observations and gatherings like godavari pushkaram krishna pushkaram wildlife centuries cultural features historical attractions indigenous lifestyle regional agricultural products etc the description of tourism products of south india is designed as follows andhra pradesh let us discuss the tourist destinations andhra pradesh is blessed with natural beauty and a long coastline of 974 km the state consists of two regions real sima and coastal andhra river godavari and krishna are the major rivers the state has one of the most important hindu shrines in india Shri Venkateshwara Temple at Tripuri several places in Andhra Pradesh has a strong buddhist connection as a ruins of stupas and viharas are excavated from different places according to legends naga arjuna one of the most important buddhist philosopher lived in amravati it was also the capital of satvahana dynasty the proposed new capital of the state amravati is expected to be smart modern city but planned in the lines of retaining its heritage aspects the state has immense tourism potential which ranges from natural beauty heritage rural tourism religious tourism etc reports indicates that Tourist arrival has increased up to 30% in 2015 over the year 2014. Popular attractions: Tripuri, Shri 
Venkateshwara Temple in Triputi is one of the most renowned and visited religious shrines in India. This temple is dedicated to Lord Venkateshwara situated in Trimula Hills which has seven peaks representing the heads of Adishisha. Vishakhapatnam. This city is popularly called a Vizag. This port city is an important commercial center for the state and the country. Rushikonda Beach, Ramkrishna Beach and Bimu Nipatnam Beach are very popular among tourists as it provides beautiful scenic view of Bay of Bengal. Raku Valley. Raku Valley is one of the spectacular hill station in Andhra Pradesh. It is 114 km away from Vishakhapatnam. This hill station is connected with trains and the train journey itself is a memorable experience to visitors. Naga Arjuna Sagar, Shri Salem Wildlife Sanctuary. It is the largest tiger reserve in India spread over five districts of Andhra Pradesh. The Georges valleys and the hills located along the course of River Krishna offers a breathtaking view. Natural Attractions Konasima It is one of the beautiful scenic sports in Andhra Pradesh. Horsley Hills One of the popular hill resort of Andhra Pradesh situated at an altitude of 1 to 65 meter above sea level. Talakona Waterfall it is the highest waterfall in Andhra Pradesh and is situated in Shri Venkateshwara National Park. Bora Caves, located at Anantagiri Hills of Araku Valley, near to Vishakhapatnam, Bora Caves is an important tourist attraction. Belam Caves, the largest and longest cave system in India. Wildlife. Pulikat Lake. This is a brackish water lake, homes for a large number of migratory birds, including flamingos. This lake is a backwater system lying close to Bay of Bengal. Kuleru Lake. It is a freshwater lake and a Ramsar site. The ecosystem attracts large number of migratory birds during winter season. It is located 60 km away from Vijayawada. Heritage Attractions Chandan Ragiri Fort It is situated in Chandragiri which was once the capital of Vijayanagar rulers. It dates back to 1000 AD. The fort resembles the ancient architect architectural features of this region and stands as one of the important monument of heritage. Sankaram, it is situated near Vishakhapatnam and was once flourished as the center of Buddhism. Guti Fort, one of the oldest hill forts of Andhra Pradesh. It was built by emperors of Vijayanagar Kingdom. It is situated 52 kilometers from Anantpur town. Spiritual religious attractions. Sim Hachalam Temple. Situated 16 km away from Vizag, this temple is a fine example of temple architecture of India. Kanka Durga Temple The presiding deity of the temple is Shri Kanka Durga. It is located on the top of Indra Kiladri Hills in the Vijayawada. Kanibakam Temple The temple is believed to be constructed by Chola kings during 11th century AD but completed by Vijayanagaram kings. Lepakshi temple, one of the most important temple situated in Anantpur district. The temple is an architectural marvel in stone. It has a hundred pillared dance hall, a granite sculpture of Veerbhadra. Shri Salem temple, one of the twelfth Jyotilinga temples. It is believed that Lord Shiva appeared with Goddess Parvati and blesses Vrishaba 
the sacred bull of Shiva. Nearest city is Hyderabad and the rail head is Nandyal. Prashanti Nilayam, situated in Puttaparthi, is one of the spiritual centers of South India, Shri Satya Sai Baba. Unexplored attractions Andavali Caves, Gandhi Kota Canyon, Pepe Kondalau, Amravati, and Hope Island. Let's discuss now seasonal or occasional events. Godavari Pushkaram. It is one of the biggest gathering. The identified places along river Godavari once in 12 years. Last Godavari Pushkaram was held in the year 2015 during July-August. According to estimates, approximately 48.1 million pilgrims attended the Pushkaram. Krishna Pushkaram is observed along the river banks of Krishna once in 12 years. It is celebrated during at the time Jupiter enters into Virgo, Kanyarashi. Telangana Visit for all seasons and all reasons. Telangana is the youngest state of India formed from Andhra Pradesh in the year 2014. The state was part of Nizam's administrative region, Hyderabad is the administrative capital of Telangana. It experienced its golden age during Kakatiya dynasty who ruled from Varangal. Rudrama Devi and Pratap Rudra were two important rulers of this dynasty ruled Varangal. The area commander Delhi Sultanate and Bahmani Sultans later. Kuli Kutub Mulk established Kutub Shahi dynasty in 1518. Hyderabad became the capital of Nizam in 1769. It was annexed to Union of India in 1948. Popular Attractions Hyderabad is a modern city with a number of tourist attractions. Charminar is the iconic land mark of the city. Varangal. Varangal was the capital of the Kakatiya kings. Varangal fort and the thousand pillars temple attract lot of tourists to this city. Basara Ganana Saraswati temple very popular among the people. Basara Ganana Saraswati temple is situated on the banks of river Godavari approximately 202 km from Hyderabad. Naga Arjuna Sagar Dam is one of the popular sites of Telangana. Constructed on river Krishna, this dam site and surroundings attract lot of tourists. Natural attractions. Kuntala Waterfall is located in Adilabad district, which is a very interesting picnic spot. The waterfall is situated in Kadem River the deep forest and the way to reach the waterfall area is an exciting experience. Durgam Cherivu, also called as the sacred lake, it is located on the outskirts of Hyderabad. The lake is surrounded by hills and thick vegetation which was noticed before few years. Pakhal Lake, which is situated 50 km away from Varangal city, it offers Breathtaking view to the visitor. Anantkiri Hills. This picturesque attraction is situated in Rangaradi district of Telangana. Heritage attractions. Charminar, Hyderabad. Charminar is the beautiful place of Hyderabad. There are four minars on the corners of the monument, which itself is one of the main attractions. Arcs, Minart and Domes are the inscriptions reflect the Indo-Islamic architectural style. Golconda Fort Hyderabad is another landmark of not only Hyderabad but also India. The world-renowned Kohinoor diamond which once decorated the thrones of the rurals of Hyderabad. 
कुतुब शाही टॉम्स दीज आर द टॉम्स ऑफ द डिपार्टेड किंग्स ऑफ कुली कुतुब शाही किंग्स दीज टॉम्स आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन ए रेस्ड प्लेटफॉर्म यूजिंग इंडो पर्शियन आर्किटेक्चरल स्टाइल अमिस्ट ब्यूटिफुल गार्डन थाउजेंड पिलर टेम्पल वरंगल इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वरंगल सिटी लॉर्ड विष्णु लॉर्ड शिवा एंड लॉर्ड सूर्या देवा आर द प्रिजाइडिंग डाइटीज ऑफ द टेम्पल वरंगल फोर्ट स्टैंड एज द रेमिनी सीन ऑफ ककातिया रूलर्स दिस फोर्ट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट हेरिटेज मोनूमेंट ऑफ द स्टेट द काव्ड आर्क्स पिलर्स एंड द डेकोरेटेड गेट वेज आर अमेजिंग आर्किटेक्चरल फीचर्स ऑफ ककातिया विच कैन बी स्टिल फाउंड हेयर रमापा टेम्पल दिस टेम्पल रिफ्लेक्ट्स द ककातिया आर्किटेक्चर विच इज नोन फॉर इट्स स्कल्पचर रमापा म्यूजियम्स इन हैदराबाद सलरजंग एंड स्टेट आर्कियोलॉजिकल म्यूजिक स्परिचुअल बहादुर चलम बहादुर चलम इज वन ऑफ द सैक्रेड शराइंस ऑफ इंडिया एंड इट इज एसोशिएटेड विद एपिक रामायण अकॉर्डिंग टू लिजेंड्स सेख बहादुर वॉज ब्लेस्ड बाय लॉर्ड राम एंड हु एवर डिवोटीज विजिट दिस प्लेस विल गेट द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ लॉर्ड राम जयनाथ टेम्पल लोकेटेड इन जयनाथ थर्टी किलोमीटर अवे फ्रॉम द डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेड क्वार्टर्स ऑफ आदिलाबाद मक्का मस्जिद विच इज सिचुएटेड एट साउथ वेस्ट ऑफ चार मीनार इन हैदराबाद द मस्जिद इज मॉडल्ड आफ्टर मक्का हैंस इट इज पॉपुलरली कॉल्ड एज मक्का मस्जिद पदमा टेम्पल सिचुएटेड एट जुबली हिल्स इन हैदराबाद वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिवियर्ड टेम्पल उज्जैनी महाकाली टेम्पल सिचुएटेड एट सिकंदराबाद इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर टेम्पल अमंग डिवोटीज समक्का सारालमा टेम्पल वरंगल दिस टेम्पल इज बिल्ट इन मेमरी ऑफ टू ट्राइबल वेमेन हु वॉयस्ड अगेंस्ट इम्पोजिशन ऑफ टेक्स सिस्टम बाय द रूलर्स ऑन द कम्युनिटी मेडाक चर्च दिस मैसेव कैथरल वॉज बिल्ट इन नाइनटीन फोर्टीन हाई वॉल्स ह्यूज विंडोज विद ग्लास पेंटिंग्स एंड द गौथिक रिवाइवल स्टाइल यादगिरी गुटा श्री लक्ष्मी नरसिम्हा स्वामी टेम्पल इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर टेम्पल्स इन तेलंगाना इट इज सिचुएटेड इन नालगोंडा डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज एथुनाग्रम सेंचुरी स्प्रेड ओवर एन एरिया ऑफ एट जीरो सिक्स किलोमीटर इज सिचुएटेड वन हंड्रेड टेन किलोमीटर फ्रॉम वरंगल कावल सेंचुरी दिस सेंचुरी इज सिचुएटेड इन आदिलाबाद डिस्ट्रिक्ट it is an excellent picnic spot to see animals of different species nagarjuna sagar shri selam tiger reserve it is the largest tiger reserve in india spread over five districts of andhra pradesh the corches valley and the hills located along the course of river krishna offers a breathtaking view it is situated 130 km from hyderabad Kinarsani Wildlife Sanctuary is situated in the river delta of Godavari in Khammam district animals and birds of different species are found here food and cuisines most of the food items found in Telangana and Andhra Pradesh are common but the most popular among them is Hyderabadi cuisine various delicious dishes suits to the taste of vegetarian and non vegetarian people hyderabadi biryani is one of the sought after food of hyderabad telangana is also known for hot and spicy dishes the irani cafe of hyderabad there are a number of irani cafes in hyderabad these cafes serve tea made of milk and sugar along with salt biscuits are very popular hangouts of people karnataka one state many worlds earlier known the state of mysore 
It was renamed as Karnataka in 73. The state is bordered by Goa, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The state is having abundant natural resources and historical importance. The state was part of Mauryan Empire, then Satvanas rule followed by Kadambas, Western Cholakyas, Hoysalas and Vijayanagara. The state is broadly divided into three regions, Uttara Kannada, Karavali and Dakshin Kannada. Major rivers of Karnataka are Krishna, Tunga Bahadra, Sharavati and Kaveri, which contribute immensely to the agricultural prosperity of the state, while it equally contribute to the tourism development of the state. There are several very renowned tourist attractions which attract large number of the tourists. The state has a range of tourism products ranging from natural attractions, heritage, religious, adventure, rural, ethnic, cultural and modern cities like Bengaluru. A study of the tourism offering of the state will help us to understand more about the state and its tourism scenario. Popular Attractions Bengaluru Bengaluru, popularly known as Garden City or Bangalore, is the administrative and commercial capital of the Karnataka. The city is one of the most important centre of IT industry of our country. Electronic City in Bangalore is the hub of the major IT companies, but a large number of startups function from various suburban areas. The city has a number of parks such as Cuban Park, Lal Park, Ranadira Kantirva Park, Kriyappa Park, etc. The Vidhan Sauda, the Karnataka High Court, Bangalore Palace and Tipu Sultan's Palace are examples impressive architectural features. Kurg is located on the edges of the Western Ghats. Hampi. Hampi is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the prominent heritage sites of India. The grandeur of ruins of Vijayanagara Empire scattered over the areas resembles the glorious past and the skill of craftsmen. The Virupaksha Temple, Vitla Swami Temple Complex, Lotus Mahal, Jain Temples and the other ruins located near to Hampi give an enhancing experience of the vibrant cultural heritage of India. Mysuru is known for the variety of reasons. The Dashara festival of Mysore brought international fame to the city. During the days of Dashara celebrations, the city is decorated with flowers and colorful lights. Exhibitions and trade fairs are held at various grounds in the city. Bandipur National Park, this is a tiger reserve and attracts large number of visitors. It is located near to Mysuru. Safaris, natural walks and study camps are frequently organized by the Department of Forest to sensitize people. Natural Attractions Riverside The Kabani Riverside offers pristine natural beauty to the visitors. The bamboo grooves and the forest side, rains and mist etc and the hills of Western Ghats provide everlasting experience to tourists. Talkaveri, the origin point of Kaveri is another attractive point to visit. Beaches, Malpe, Karavar, Gokharna, Surutkal, St. Mary's Island, etc. Waterfalls, Jog Falls, it is the second highest waterfall located in Shivamoga district. The river Sharavati falls from here at a height of 253 meters. Wildlife 
राजीव गांधी नेशनल पार्क नागरहोल नागरहोल इन कनाडा मीन्स स्नेक रिवर बिकॉज द रिवर कबानी फॉलोइंग थ्रू दिस एरिया अपेयर्स लाइक अ स्नेक दिस नेशनल पार्क इज कोनेक्टिंग बांदीपुर नेशनल पार्क एंड वायानाद वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी द बैकड्रॉप ऑफ ब्रह्मागिरी माउंटेन्स दिस नेशनल पार्क इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द फ्रेजाइल इको सिस्टम ऑफ द वेस्टर्न घाट्स दिस नेशनल पार्क इज ऑल्सो नॉन फॉर द एशियाटिक एलिफेंट बानरगाटा नेशनल पार्क दिस नेशनल पार्क इज सिचुएटेड एट बेंगलुरु सिटी इट सेल्फ स्प्रेड ओवर एन एरिया ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एकर्स एंड इट इज द होम फॉर पैंथर्स लाइन्स टाइगर्स एंड अ वराइटी ऑफ बर्ड्स इट इज वन ऑफ द हाईली विजिटेड नेशनल पार्क ऑफ कर्नाटका एज इट इज सिचुएटेड विद इन द सिटी लिमिट्स रंगना थिथु बर्ड सेंचुरी सिचुएटेड वेरी नियर टू श्रीरंगना पतना नियर टू मैसूर द कॉवेरी रिवर क्रिएट्स अ नंबर ऑफ स्मॉल आईलैंड्स दीज आईलैंड्स आर द होम फॉर वराइटी ऑफ बर्ड्स एंड मैनी ऑफ दैम आर सीजनल विजिटर्स हेरिटेज हाले बिदु इट वॉज कॉल्ड एज द्वारा समुद्रा एंड सेकेंड कैपिटल ऑफ हॉयसलस द सिटी गॉट इट्स नेम आफ्टर मलिक काफूर अटैक दिस प्लेस एंड डिस्ट्रॉयड इट हॉयसल्स वाडा टेम्पल इज बिलीव्ड टू बी बिल्ट बाय विष्णु वर्धना ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी ए डी एंड दिस इज द ओनली मोनूमेंट सर्वाइव द अटैक्स बीजापुर इट वॉज वंस द कैपिटल ऑफ अदील शाही डेंसिटी ऑफ डेकन सल्तनत बीजापुर इज डॉटेड विद मॉस्क्यूज places and fortifications gol gumbaz is one of the iconic landmark of the city badami it was once the capital of western chalukyas during 6th century badami is known for the rock cut structural temples the badami caves have ancient inscriptions sculptures and paintings patadakal is a unesco world heritage site it was considered as holy place during the chulakya period ahol temples at ahol indicates early chulakyan period architecture durga temple in ahol is masterpiece of temple architecture beluru is known for chinakeshwar swami temple which is one of the best known example temple architecture in india shri ranga patna shri ranga patna is situated close to mysore this place is religiously very important as the ranganath swami temple is the presiding deity of the temple which marks vaishnavite dominance in the region spiritual or religious attractions Bailkupa is one of the Tibetan settlements in India at a distance of 230 km from Bengaluru. Mahayana Buddhist University is situated here. Monasteries teach Buddhism and Tibetan monks can be seen at this place. Bana Shankri is one of the way to Badami. The presiding deity of the temple is Bana Shankri. another name of godets parvati this temple is in dravidian style and is highly revered by the people of weaver community the annual temple festival attracts thousands of pilgrims to this place shrinagri located in chik megalur and is believed that adi shankara visited this place during this pilgrimage to different tirthas shankarcha established the first of the four amanya pritams the vidya shankara temple situated at shrinagri is an architectural wonder manjunatha temple dharmsthala this place is also known as a jain pilgrimage center it is situated 65 km away from mangalore kuke Subramanya Swami Temple is located 105 km away from Mangalore. It is believed that 
द सैरपंथ किंग वासुकी सॉट रिफ्यूज इन लॉर्ड सुब्रमण्य फ्रॉम गुरुदा एट दिस प्लेस गोकर्णा दिस कॉस्टल टाउन इज कंसिडर्ड एज ए सेंटर ऑफ संस्कृत लर्निंग एंड एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्लेग्रीमेज सेंटर महाबलेश्वरा टेम्पल वेंकटरमना टेम्पल Koti Tirtha are the important shrines here. Saint Philomena's Cathedral, Mysore. It resembles the Colne Cathedral built in 1933. The architectural style is Gothic with tall towers and painted glass windows in which stories of Bible are printed. Udupi, Sri Krishna Temple draws large number of pilgrims every day. This place is also associated with Madhvacharya, famous Sanskrit scholar, philosopher, and prominent of Vaishnavite philosophy. Tala Kaveri, the origin point of Kaveri, is treated with great reverence. It is located at Madhikari Kurg Kular Mukambika Temple. This temple is one of the most important temple of Goddess Saraswati. It is situated approximately 130 km from Mangalore. It is believed that Mukambika appeared to Adi Shankara and he installed the goddess image at this temple. Mudabidri is one of the very popular pilgrimage center of Jain pilgrims. There are 18 Jain basadis here. It is 34 km from Mangalore. Seasonal events Dashara festival is a renowned celebration of Mysore Mahamastika Abhisheka it is held at Shravana Bela Gola once in 12 years Kambala it is a farmers sporting event celebrated at the coastal and rural areas other major festivals include Ayudha Puja Ugadi the Kannada New Year Shivratri etc adventure or unexplored the state also offers immense opportunities for adventure opportunities river rafting trekking racing rock climbing bird watching safaris rural tourism etc some of the interesting sports are given below cuisines karnataka has many ethnic communities people from different places have been living in this state for many years and bengaluru has been recognized as cosmopolitan city in terms of cultural features rice is the main food and coconut is used in curries and chutneys in addition to this there are ethnic communities living in coastal karnataka people of kurg region tibetans etc have their own cuisines styles in general people have popular south indian dishes such as idli dosa uthappam rice etc dance music and folk arts karnataka is also known for classical music folk arts and different folk arts carnatic music exponents include purandhara dasa was one of the legends of carnatic music born in shivamogga district of karnataka bharatanatyam is one of the most followed classical dance events in karnataka the folk traditions of karnataka also attract tourists all over the world thank you very much